Jose, hi, Jose, how are you? Oh my God, are you in a different position today? In a different uh, place or what? Yeah, in a different position. You see, I knew. Hey, now you're wearing wash a t-shirt. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy, you know what? I was worried, I was worried guys, because uh, before I be with you, we got some problems with the internet and also with the um, with the Wi-Fi and the lights. The lights went down. I think that is uh, yeah. with uh, with uh, that is raining. Right? Yeah, it's raining a lot, and I was like, no way, I won't be able to see my babies today. That's not possible. <laughs> this is the last day. No, you know, I today was really... the last day. Yes. Yes. I was like, yes. What are you serious? <laughs> well, but if you want to, we can continue the whole week. And for me, it's not it's good. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, yeah. Hi, Jenny. Yeah. And I was really worrying, concerned. I, I just sent this message to, to the administration department. You know what, guys, this happened. And you know what? And um, the lights came really fast because it, it took like two or three minutes for the lights to come back. However, the internet was like... <sighs> And that never happens to me. I think it took like 10 minutes for I for uh for in my case to recover the internet back. So like, oh no, wait, that's not possible. And yeah. I don't know because it was not raining here. And then it suddenly came like a rain with a like a stormy. And then it sounds like brrr, the thunder, right? And then and I was like, oh no way. Yeah, and I was really worried about that because it's really weird that happens to me, but it happens. Yeah. So, like, uh, and I was almost finished the other guys. That's why I came a little bit later because I need to like uh, continue finish it with them for just a couple of minutes more. But I was worried that I didn't, uh, I won't be able to be with you. But yes, I did it. We made it. Yeah. You, you imagine I will I would not able to to be with Jose with Sarita with and Roxy, that you love we, of course I do I, I, I'm not sarcastic I do I really do <laughs> I really do even though some of you are really managed like Jose you know what manage is manage um, no. do you remember Dan is the manage the cartoon yeah. Like a Dennis, Dennis the manager, no? Uh, Mr. Wilson? Daniel El Travieso? Yeah. Do you remember that cartoon? Okay, so in English was Dennis the manager. That is the name, right? Dennis the manager, yeah. That means Travieso. Mm -hmm. But Travieso in a, in, a, in, a, in a way that he cannot, he always needs to do something, right? He was like unique, like he was like trying to to help, but at the same time, at the end, it was a completely disaster. So <laughs> kind of things like that, like a really hyper kid. <laughs> mm -hmm. So he was like, Dan is the manager. And Rox is like, mm-hmm. <laughs> That's true. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's true, right? I think when you were a little baby, you gave a lot of headache to your mama. Really? Mm -hmm. oh. What do you think, girls? Elenita, Sarita, <laughs> Roxy, give me your opinion. You see, Elenita's like, yes, 100% sure about with the teacher. <laughs> I think that it's the same happened with my daughter I have here. No. Um, but she, oh, my God. But she has an angel face. <laughs> yeah, Your she has. Face. Ah, but she has an angel face. Hi, and she's looking really good. She's lovely. She looks <laughs> like you, right? Yeah. Yeah, and he has your smile as well. Look at smile, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's so sweetie. <laughs> but I mean the baby girl, right? We're talking about the baby girl, right, Lita? No, Jose. Yes, too. <laughs> Don't get confused. <laughs> yes, I have two girls. You have two girls? Yes. And, and they the have older. similar similar age as uh Josue's baby? No, no, it's older. The the first one have uh has this first one is the first one is uh nine years old oh. and the second uh. one is uh 16 years old. Oh, so they have six. a big difference. Yeah. No, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Nine and six. Oh, nine and six. Okay. Yes. But two yes. baby girls. Yes. Oh, I love baby girls. Yes, uh, they are very um, 
Why do you say cariñosas? Lovely um, ones and yeah, yes, tender ones. ones. Yes. Yeah, I know. They're really nice. I love them. And you know what I love about the girls? That there's a lot of things that you can make them look beautiful. <laughs> yes. Yeah, like dresses, you know, like little things the, that you put on the, the hair. The hairstyle. You know, yeah. Yes. I love when, when, when the mamas uh, dress the babies like a little princesses. I love yes. them. They look amazing because I, 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 one of, I think that you need to dress according to your age. The baby girls needs to do like this, like a, like a baby girl because they're babies. Don't dress like they're already grown up. Yes, it's, it's very complicated because um, the sociality mm -hmm. is pressed to the girls to, to be uh, dressed some way. For example, yesterday, uh, the little one uh, get uh, a shoes with heels. With heels? Little heels, uh -huh. yes. And my, my, hus my husband and I say, don't use that. Mm -hmm. Your feet uh, is not quality for your health, for your feet, for your bones. Sorry, <laughs> you don't use it. Yeah. And she is mom i love it shine i always wanted yeah. sorry no, no you can't use it <laughs> yeah yes. we need to be like yes i know um, sorry for for her but it's uh is if is for your for good forget because is mm. um, the bones maybe deforms and the column suffered and yes. I don't this problem in the future in the health of her. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Of course, we're not telling that if you have kids, you're not raising good. No, no, no. These are our opinion, right? Every, everybody has their own way to raise their babies and everything. But is it, but exactly that's the way that I was raised. I remember that um, I didn't have makeup until I went to the university. <laughs> yeah, yeah, including the nail polish. My mom said no. Okay. Yeah. In my case, it's similar. <laughs> yeah, and I had never taken a, a bus <laughs> yeah. until I went to the university. Can you imagine? Because most of the time it was a micro bus, uh, my mama's car. And I remember because my sister is older than me. So that means that when I arrived to the university the first year, she was in the second year, right? So we had to take the... the Microbus 44. And you know what? I was running. I was I was looking on the street like India Maria, like that. <laughs> like, like that. And, yeah. And my sister said, Oh my God. And my mama told her, You need to take care about your baby sister. Okay. So we jumped in into the microbus and I was using heels, right? And then you know that the microbus drivers, they they drive really careful, no, right? So they're like, rah, rah. and I was like, ah! like that you know yeah because it was my first day on the microbus and then i was like Boop! on on a guy's legs and i was like oh my god and i was like oh my god where is my face and my sister i don't know her i don't know her she's not my sister yeah and uh, and the man said thanks god <laughs> i was like oh no bye sir <laughs> and i like raise up again and look at oh my god that was the terrible day. That was the embarrassed day of my life because like, oops, it was the first time that I was using heels and I was wearing heels. And it's the first time that I that I jumped into the bus. And can you imagine what a bad experience? And it was really fun experience, I see. Oh my God. Next time I remember that I need to grab immediately, right? Because I don't want that that happens to me. You know, especially if you're using heel, you can like brock your 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 feet, right? Your ankle, like no way. It is a little bit dangerous. So then I said, okay, next time that I'm going to take the bus, I'm going to wear sneakers. <laughs> yes, it's sneakers. Uh, yeah, so my mama bought me like an all stars and, you, and, and they are really, they were really soft. I love all stars. 
sneakers by heart. They're really comfortable. And um, because every time that somebody saw me at the university, they, they told to my mama, we saw your baby girl. And she was running to the library. She was coming downstairs. She was like, every, every time I was like walking any part of the university. So that helps me a lot until I made a hold on the back of the sneaker. So like I used them the whole year but they were really soft and comfortable. I love those shoes by heart. They're really nice. <coughs> oh my God, you're coming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't wear this kind of shoes. In no? My, uh, no, no sneakers? In my life. No. <gasps> I don't know. <laughs> no? What about you, Edwin? Uh, uh, do you know the sneakers, the, the, the all-star tennis? All-star? All-star tennis? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're yeah. really nice. Yeah, yeah. I like them. Uh, Did you black use them? The black and white. Yeah, you know what? That yeah, was the color that I that I had. Yeah. Yeah, I like that color. Yeah. Yeah, they came in yeah, also in color. blue and in red, right? Yes. But yeah, but I yeah. prefer the black one, the, because the black combines with everything most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 So did you use them? Did you wear the the, the sneaker ones or no? Los no, usaste? No. no? Uh, on 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 the oh, no, okay. on the Okay, guys, let me ask you. Let me tell you something. We have tennis and we have sneakers, right? Tennis is basically uh -huh. um the kind of shoes that you use to to do exp sports, like practice football, tennis, walk, etc. But the sneakers, guys, those are more like the all star version version. See. Those are sneakers, Elwin. Oh. We call sneakers like the all-star version. They are not tennis. They are sneakers for us. Mm -hmm. oh. Just to let you know. Mm -hmm. that, is, that, that is a different, the two type of shoes. But I love sneakers by heart. I love all-stars. Those are my favorite ones. <laughs> what about you, Sarita, Sarita, Elenita, Jennifer, Jose, Saulito? Did you wear as uh, all-stars or no? Yes, teacher. I really like. Yeah, you like it, Jenny? Yes, yes Arita? Yes. yes, yes. I like, like the All Star. You too? too? Yeah. I'm so comfortable. Yeah, they are. And I like because they com combine with all clothes. Exactly. That's why I selected. Yeah, I have one pair of shoes from my university, I think, for the whole year. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. There, until uh, I made a now hold. I have um, hey, the most common white with black, but white when black. I okay. when I was younger, I I, ha I have the old black like when a I was younger. Yes, exactly, Roxy. <laughs> yes, I was thinking. I yes, when I was I... younger, and yeah. she's a baby, right, Roxy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can say when I was younger than now. Look at it. <laughs> hey, Roxy, hey Jenny, how old are you? You're 20 something, right? Me? Yeah. No, 32. No way. Huh? Yeah. But but Roxy, she looks younger, right? Like 20 something, right? Like 24. Yeah. Five, oh, thank right? You, you, you see? Elwin, yeah, Elwin yeah. Said, yeah. My brother is my brother and I will have Ow. 33 this year. <laughs> really? <laughs> But even though you look younger, but even though you're still yes. younger than us, <laughs> so we're good yes. at that. Yeah, <laughs> that's nice. When I was younger, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, I can say when I was younger <laughs> because that was like, yeah, because that was like, let me check, like 20 years ago, almost no, no 39 uh, years ago, no, oh, no, 19, sorry, 19 years ago, yes. My team. Mm. So you, if you're good on math, make the calculations. <laughs> <laughs> I think they don't mind mine. <laughs> no, I, I'm tired right now. of thinking, teacher. No way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you see, we have a lot of things in common that we used to wear when we were uh, babies. Well, right now, babies, right? Because we're not babies anymore. We're gonna stop the time, right? So that's good. Let me ask you guys, talking about, that is talking about the past. What about nowadays? May I ask you, do you still prefer the same kind of shoes or now you uh, wear something else? 
or you prefer another type of shoes like i don't know sandals platform high heels i don't know tannies or you're still wearing the same sneakers what kind of shoes do you prefer? Or oh, depends on the situation, the circumstances. Yes. And, for example, at home? At home? With sandals always. Sandals. With sandals. Oh, with sandals, sandals or Crocs? Yeah. Sandals or Crocs. Oh. All right. Yes. Hey, oh, with Crocs. I did. I did. I you know what? I, I, I didn't say. Uh, you know, I forgot, but I, I right now too, I forgot. But, but there is the a cold, there, the floor is the cold. Yeah, but the, there's a <laughs> in, like in, in El Shiran, in El Shiran Son, there is a a name for oh. for for that. Ah, in the in the in the Son Perfect. In the yes. sun perfect. Ah, yes. There is a word that says chunya. It, 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 but but chunya, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chunya, let me chunya. check. Uh, uh, let me chunya. check. I'm going to let you know because uh, to be honest with you, right now I completely forgot because it's, I do not use it. I I remember it's like something like bare, barefoot. Yeah, yeah, barefoot. 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 Yes, that's barefoot the one. Barefoot on the grass. Yes. Uh, yes, I remember exactly. for the sun. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That, that's why I let you know the sun. Because yeah, barefoot yeah. is chunya. That means <laughs> only with your beautiful finger, with toes and your feet. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. exactly, barefoot. Okay, let me check how you how you write it because I completely forgot that. Yeah, it is not a word that I use that I use. So sometimes I'm like, uh huh, barefoot. I'm gonna write it down barefoot. because I know that. Wait a minute, let me check. Bear, but bear no like no barefoot. It's like tunya barefoot. I wrote it barefoot. That means without shoes. <laughs> yeah. So now you know there's a new word, right? And you didn't know that there was that word was on that song, right? On perfect barefoot, barefoot on the grass. That means like walking on the grass without shoes. I like that. It's really it's really refreshing and relaxing. Yes, yeah. but it's better if, if you. Barefoot on the grass. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes, of course. Not on the floor. Not on, on the, the floor. Grass. But you know what? I love to be on the floor as well. Because when I was younger, my grandma used to like clean the house like shining, right? Everything. Two or three times a day. And so she used to love to be barefoot. And also she taught us to be barefoot as well. So to be honest with you, in my house, I love to be barefoot. I love it. It's, and it's a little, sometimes it's a little bit healthy, but of course you need to yes, have your, but your it's floor. Healthy. It really clean, on the right? floor, I don't know, but it's on the grass, it's healthy. Ah, yes. I, re I read about that. You read it about it? Yeah. That's awesome. But but no on, on the floor, I don't um, know if it's, it's good or no. Well, my grandma used to tell me that, that it's healthy on also on the floor. So. I don't know why, but it works <laughs> and I like it. Yeah, especially when it's really hot day, you just put the feet on the, on the floor and it looks like, yeah. Okay, so, so some of you prefer sandals, some of you prefer barefoot, like Mr. Chacon and myself, of course. And what about you, Roxy? What about you, Sarita, Elenita? What kind of shoes is, or you don't wear any type of shoes when you're home? In my house, uh -huh. and tennis, tennis and sandals. In sandals. Um, yes, and my core in passport. Ah, okay, yes. What kind of job do you have? Yes. ¿Qué trabajo haces? What kind of job do you have? Dressmaker. Ah, okay. Modista. Okay, that's the reason why, yes, of course. Oh, yes. You need to have a comfortable shoes. Mm -hmm. Yes. What about you, Roxy? Sandals. Sandals. I oh. yes. I I use. I wear, or I use. No, I wear. What is? I wear. I wear. I wear. I um, wear tennis, tennis when I go to the the gym. Of course. And I use a platform when I go to the. I go to shore, shore, or or other. Oh, place. you go shopping, right? Of course. Yeah. Because oh, it, yeah. uh, because I I like to to wear uh, 
uh, long, long dress. Uh -huh. And it's better and when. Yes. With platforms. With platforms, yes, of course. Oh my God. So she looks so elegant. Yes. Hi, <laughs> QB. All right. Okay, QB, right? Say, of, course. Uh, of course, right? Jenny, like, uh, uh. <laughs> no comments. <laughs> I am Roxy. Okay, something happens with Roxy. I think she drank a lot of coffee today. <laughs> what about who's, What about Elenita? Elenita, also you prefer barefoot or not? Or sandals or flat? No, in, in my in my house I wear uh, a sandals, sandals. Uh, Crocs, like, like uh, Chaco, yeah. Yes, <laughs> and, and Jenny. Uh, um, sometimes tennis sometimes tennis yes depend on the weather <laughs> exactly depend on the weather all yeah, right but um when i go to the work mm -hmm. i use heels heels yes um, but not too high heels no too high heels like no, a medium ones a medium ones yes mm -hmm. uh, eight, oh, wow. and in between six and eight centimeters and those are like medium that. ones. Goodness. Hey. Yes. Yes. <laughs> those are like this. Yes. No, like this is a thing. 12. <laughs> Can you imagine? She's like this. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and when I go out with my family, I use a sneaker or tennis. Okay. Oh, yes. It's more comfortable because I run with the girls and mm -hmm. something like that. And it's more comfortable to use a tennis or a sneakers. Of course, you're right about that. Dr. Ge Carlos Guevara, good night, sir. That's really, I'm so happy that you could enjoy today's class. Woohoo! Good night. Good night. We were, we were talking, Carlitos, about uh, what kind of uh, shoes we used to wear in the past and what kind of shoes we wear now that we already grown up. And the guy said, the, it depends of your occasion or the places where you are. For example, Carlitos, at home, what kind of shoes do you prefer to wear? Uh, in home? Yeah, at home, yes. In home, I, I don't have shoes. Ah, you don't have shoes? Ah, oh, barefoot. So that means barefoot? Uh-huh. Chunya. Okay, yes. <laughs> yeah, you like that one, uh, right? Me too. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, in my world, I, I use uh, tennis. Yes. I always use tennis. Is uh, rarely, rarely I use uh, formal right. shoes. Uh, yes, only, of course. Only, only for occasion mm. in this, I have uh, a joint. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Only that, or oh, I have a, a event. Yes, Only of course. Only in this occasion. Of course, doctor. Because, for example, sometimes you need to stay in the hospital for like twenty-four or seventy-two hours, right? And, yeah, yes. and, and it will be more comfortable for you to wear tennis yes. because of the circulation of the legs and all the stuff, right? Yeah, I understand that perfectly. And do you like frogs? Crocs? Sorry. Crocs, Crocs, yes. <laughs> Do you use Crocs yes. or no? Yes, I like a, a little. A little, but you prefer the tennis one. Yes, I okay. prefer the tennis. And, and at home, uh -huh. tennis. And at home, barefoot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, I like it too. Yeah, you're good. Hey, talking about that, doctor, we were discussing that. In the past, uh, because there is a song for El Shiran that barefoot on the grass, that means chunya on the on the uh, on el césped, right? That means mm -hmm. in Spanish. But I remember that some of us, when we were like little gay guys and girls, uh, our grandma used to like taught us that it would be it's good to be barefoot on the on the floor on our house floor, be, and because it's healthy. What do you think about that? Is it healthy or is not healthy? To be barefoot. No, it's, it's not healthy. It's, it's not different. But I I like I like. Ah, so it, it doesn't have anything to do with that with people's health. No. But uh, uh, the people uh, that uh, barefoot in the the air, mm -hmm. 
tierra, es es adquirir. Ah, acquire, ¿verdad? Right? Yeah. Ah, uh, so, some disease. Ah, really? Mm -hmm. sí, like for example. Um, worms, parásitos. Ooh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Uh, uh, so, because uh -huh. it's no, it's no healthy. Uh, uh, bad food in the air. In no, in all in the earth. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, uh -huh. So we need to be very careful with that. Okay. But with the floor, no problem. Uh, yes, thank God, uh, because we love it. <laughs> always always uh, the floor is clean. Is what? It's clean. Oh, oh it's yes, clean. of course. Oh, of course. Yes. Of course. Mm -hmm. We whip, we whip it and everything. Yes, we mop mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're safe, Elwin and Sarita. <laughs> wow, yeah, and me too because we love it. Thank you, doctor. Yeah. Okay. Now tell me something. Uh, then Carlito said that of course he uses another type of shoes, like formal shoes. If he goes to like a presentation, to a meeting, to have dinner, I don't know, with his wife, or maybe to have like a, another uh, family <laughs> reunion or or co-workers uh, reunion, right? Okay, what about uh, when we go to the beach, guys? Can we use formal shoes or tennis or sandals? Sandals. 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 Yes. Sandals? Is that what you call sandals? Or tennis. Uh, not really. Let me let you know something. Sandals are the one that you use to uh, at home or to wear at home. But if if the, if the kind of shoes that you wear when you go to the beach, that, that one calls flip-flop. Flip-flop. Like in Spanish on chanclas, like because you're working like clack, 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 oh, clack, yes. clack, clack, remember that sound? Clack, 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 clack. So in English we call flip-flops. 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 And, and, and it's right exactly like the way you sound. Flip flip flops. Flop. Flip flops, flip flops. Ge no, Gina's. Gina's. It's, it's oh. like Gina's, right? right. Use like, back, flip flops back, back, back. in my house. Well, if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> or, or sometimes you use flip flops when you like take a shower, right? And we yes. take a shower. But most yes. of the time, the flip flops are the one that we use to go to the beach. Um. Okay, that is different from sandals. Yes. <clears throat> Sandals are the regular the material. Flat, the material, yes, exactly. Because most of the time the sandals are flat, but their material is different. Yeah, I, the flip flops, all of them, most of them are like um, what well, you said that. What kind of material is? Let me say that in Spanish. Uh, how, how you say that in Spanish? Ule. I forgot. Ule. Yes, thank you. Ule. Ule. Thank you. Yes, exactly. So. Exactly. So they're kind of that. Most of them, right? I haven't seen any flip flops yeah. with a different material. So that's why they call flip flops. So you see, you learn a new a new word today. Mm -hmm. Well, a lot of new words right now. <laughs> and, and you know what? It is because the sound. Because when you're working, like we are walking, they're like click 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 click. It, it is it is for us like flip flop flip flop flip flop. That's why they call <laughs> flip flops. <laughs> Yeah, because of the sound. Mm -hmm. So you see, you learn new word. You learn, you learn two new words today: barefoot and flip flop. Barefoot and flip flop. Yes, and now you know the barefoot on the ceiling is good, on the on the grass is good, but not on the earth, right? Because what Doctor Guevara said. Okay, that's awesome, hey, guys. And let's let's try to like project us to the future, right? Project us to the future. So sometimes when we talk about future, we use going to and will, right, by heart. And you know that will is when you're probably do something and going to when you are basically 100% sure that it's going to happen, right? That's the two difference. So let me ask you, what you probably use when you are getting a little bit older? Are you, do you think you're still going to wear uh, the same type of shoes? Or maybe you can change them. Or you will change them. I don't know. Think about it. 
I know it's really hard to project ourselves, right? Being like 70s, 60s, or 60s, and so on, 80s. Do the, do the elderly people, elderly, it means like uh, old people, right? But elderly is more like polite way to say it. And uh, what kind of shoes do they wear, most of them? I was a child. No, when when we when project, future, project uh, yourself going, in the future, I'm in the going future, to use but a, child uh, or 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 me or the no, elder, no, elder like grown up, like more to have more ears, Roxy. Other people. No, you. I, don't I think to... <laughs> I'm going to use a uh, uh, sneakers. A uh, sneakers. Yes. Okay, I, I'm asking uh, Roxy about right now we are like 40s or 50, right? 50 years old or 40 years old. But pretend that you're going to be 60 in the future or 70 or 80. So when you are like that age, what kind of shoes do you think you're going to wear? Elenita said that she will still use the tennis. What about you? Platforms? Uh, I don't know. No. That could be, you could be a really fancy grandma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. um, Why not, right? <clears throat> I don't know. No, no idea. It's really hard to think sometimes, right? But what you will probably, pro will probably wear. Elenita said, I will probably wear tennis. Mm, that could be. What about you? Do you think so? Probably wear tennis? No idea. I don't know. I don't, I, <laughs> okay, I have no don't, idea. don't worry. That's okay. <laughs> if you don't have any idea, that's, that's okay. Uh, what about you, Elwin? What you probably wear? We cannot listen to you. You have your Microsoft on. No, no. I think tennis. You will probably yeah. wear tennis as well? Okay. Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah, tennis mm -hmm. and sandals. And sandals. All righty. Yeah. What about you, Jennifer? When you get it mm -hmm. a little bit older because you're still younger. <laughs> I think maybe, but I don't know how to say it in, in English, pantuflas. <laughs> Pantufla, how you say that? How you say that? No, no they are not. No. <laughs> they are not flip-flops, no. no. How you say pantuflas? Help her, please. Uh huh. Pantufla. Come on, guys. I know that you know that. Uh huh. You can search on Google. Slippers. Yes. What? Slippers. 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 Yes. Slippers. Very good. Slippers. Slippers. Yes. And I say flippers. Exactly. <laughs> I sound like you this. You know what? I that was a name of a dolphin, <laughs> flipper. Flippers. Yes, I used to know a dolphin whose name was Flipper. Okay, so you said slippers. Okay, okay, what else? Just that. No, maybe always the, the sneakers. Mm -hmm. Okay. And maybe for go to the work, maybe... Uh, but not too high. <laughs> not like not, too high. not like middle bit. one, like six, seven, like Lenita like, like said, right? Uh huh. No, maybe no. four, four or five, right? <laughs> uh huh. Yes. <laughs> but I, I think when when I when you are older, uh -huh. you need to use the comfortable shoes. Comfortable like, shoes, yeah. And not, it's difficult to put the shoes. Mm -hmm. Why? Uh, yeah, uh, is, uh, tennis is, is difficult. Yeah, sometimes because you are not too flexible, right? Sometimes. Yes. And sometimes because maybe you have a disease, like uh, you, you, you're, you're getting like a lot of liquid on your, uh, cir the circulation of your legs and your feet. So it's, it's Sometimes it's bigger <laughs> the, the, the feet or the foot than the shoes, right? So, mm -hmm. yeah. Now you may in orthopedic shoes. <laughs> I don't know. It depends. Oh, it depends. Uh huh. If you have any any problem on your feet, on your foot as well, on your foot or your feet, depends. Yeah, you can yeah. you can have it. Mm -hmm. 
What about uh, Jose? Let's listen to Jose Usman. He has been so quiet this whole class. Jose. 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 Jose has turned on the microphone, but for some reason we cannot listen to him. Jose. Jose. Hey, Jose, thank you so much. What about you, sir? Uh, I think I'm going to use the same kind of shoes that is cut. Caterpillar. So which one? The flip-flops, barefoot, tennis? Tennis. Tennis? Yeah. Those are the shoes that you love the most? Yes. Cool. Excellent. Let's listen to Saulito. I think Saulito is one of the oldest one in this class. Saulito, can, yeah. you please, can you please let us know what kind of shoes you prefer to use today? Uh, <clears throat> I have several pair of shoes, oh, excuse but me. I like the hush puppies. The hush puppies, oh, yes. okay. Yes. Why do you like uh, them, Saulito? Be, because they are uh, uh, soft and, and are good quality too, but lately they are failing about the quality. Ah, because really? uh, I remember many years ago, mm -hmm. I, I bought uh, a pair of hot poppy shoes mm -hmm. and they have many years using that pair of shoes. But now uh, in one, I don't use uh, the, the shoes, uh, the pair of shoes uh, very often, but uh, uh, suppose I, I use uh, a pair of shoes for two times during mm -hmm. the week. Mm -hmm. In two months, they are uh, in no good condition. Okay. And it's not good for me. Mm -hmm. But I, I like the hush puppy because uh, I repeat ourselves. I, I usually oh. travel to the different departments, departments mm -hmm. in El Salvador to mm -hmm. the field at least times uh, during the week and I have two pair of boots but while I am driving or a uh, passenger mm -hmm. the boots are heavy for me and uh, I have a customs to bring two pair of shoes uh -huh. one is hot puppy and the other one is one pair of boots mm -hmm. and I do the boot when I I go to the field to a, a bad uh, condition. Mm -hmm. And while I am in the uh, uh, traveling in the car or in the pickup, I use the hot puppy shoes. Oh, okay. So you basically the person, the circumstances, but most of the time you have two pair of shoes because you can, sh you can switch between them, right? Yes, yes, yes. Them. And, yeah, and you yeah, know what? That custom is really healthy because um, I remember that I have some back problems and one of my physiatrists told me that I should wear different type of shoes during the day so I can yeah. like, I can like help my my back. It, it, it's like a, like a part of a of the healthness treatment of your back. So she said, uh, for example, in the morning, you can wear flat uh, platforms. Then in the afternoon, when you arrive home, you can wear sandals or crocs or whatever, mm -hmm. or barefoot. Mm -hmm. And then when you go to the uh, back work, you can also choose for tennis or you can use heels like that. But I need to bury yeah. it under, during the day. So mm -hmm. I, because of, of my back problems and for my knees problems as well. You know what, uh -huh. that works. Because during that period of time, uh, the package that I used to have was pretty low, pretty pretty mm -hmm. low. Yes, mm -hmm. so that was one of the advantages, and you and that's what you do, Raulito. Saulito, you change the type of shoes that you wear during the day. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Good. So, for example, when you are uh, flying, mm -hmm. it's better to don't <laughs> don't have the shoes <laughs> because it's very tight. Uh, if you have mm -hmm. a, a long a long trip really i didn't know that well i used mm -hmm. to when i fly 
when I had flight, uh, when I have flown, you read, flew, fly, flew, flown, right? Mm -hmm. That is a past participle of fly. So when I have flown, most of the times, like just a couple of, of hours, I haven't been through a long trip, but I, I wear like shoes. I wear like, uh, like tennis. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And yeah, and sometimes like um, oh, sandals maybe. <laughs> yeah, but mm -hmm. formal sandals, of course. Especially if I know that I'm going to arrive in a country when it's really hot. With flip flops. <laughs> uh -huh. No, no, with flip flops because I'm not going to arrive on the beach, right, Jenny? But no, but I remember once I went to uh, Miami, Florida. Uh, when you, when, of course, in the airport, we have air conditioner, but as soon as you get out of the airport, oh my goodness, it was August. It was August. You cannot imagine what a hot weather was at. Oof. Only on the beach, the 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 ocean is cold. Mm -hmm. the, the 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 water is cold. Yeah, but um, outside, oh my goodness, it was like thirty eight degrees, forty degrees, forty two degrees. No way, it's like being in San Miguel. No way. So I knew that I'm gonna ride that place. I was wearing yes. formal sandals mm. because my okay. feet will sweat a lot. Mm. Mm. I read the news that in Spain, uh, I am not sure, but it's in Europe, mm -hmm. uh, the temperature uh, the last days uh, it was in uh, 48 degrees. 48 degrees imagine. below I, zero I, or I, over I, zero I, I, I was in in the, in the tel aviv many years ago uh, in 44 degrees mm -hmm. and i fell as a, a kitchen i was in a kitchen i know <laughs> very hot very very hot uh, in my in 44 48. Degrees. no way in, in 48 it would be like if you're in a desert or awful. something like that right it's awful yeah Oof, no way. i work in a in the uh, environment ministry uh -huh. okay i'm in charge of the uh, meteorological meteorologically difficult to 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 mention that word in meteorological devices mm -hmm. that are sensing the the weather the weather okay oh that's really yeah. interesting job mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. wow Oof. No. i can imagine 48 degrees no way it would be like san miguel <laughs> and la union together right guys uh -huh. Oof. In, in, in the, the no. maximum temperature in in san miguel it was uh, 43 degrees. 43? Uh, no way, yeah, but still. Oof. <laughs> no. I, no, 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 no. I, I know. I, my, yeah, I have been in 43 degrees in Miami when mm -hmm. I let you know that. But you know what? Uh -huh. There were like some waterfalls, cascaditas, mm -hmm. like with my, I was 14 years old. Can you imagine, guys? 14 years old, and that was that kind of weather. We just jump into the water. We get completely wet because uh -huh. it was really, really hot. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I can the, imagine the, so little. Oh, no way. The problem, the problem in the beach is is the humidity. Mm -hmm. And yeah. uh, this the sensing of the temperature is, uh, uh, for example, the temperature is uh, 35 degrees. Mm -hmm. But the humidity is seventy uh, percent. Wow! Uh, the sensation of warmth is very hot. I know. Mm -hmm. Oof! That's why I yeah. cannot stand being like in, in, in really hot places because mm -hmm. of my sinus problems. I cannot. I get worse, and I think it's because of the humidity that you're talking about. Wow! Thank you so much. Um, you see, guys, we we have learned a lot with Saulito today. That is uh -huh. really interesting. Hey, let me ask you. I know that is the last time, but would you like to play, guys? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. And everybody's like, yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, you know that I love Kahoo, right? So we're going to play some of them that I haven't shown you. We, I think you will um, found it interesting. But as you know, you know the rules, right? You know the rules. 
You must have two devices. You need to watch my computer, right? Just to check the, the information, but on your device, you need to just gonna have just the colors, okay? You need to like think fast, read fast, right? Because if not, you're gonna get in trouble. Uh huh, Roxy. Roxy, don't look at me like that, Roxy. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you guys ready? Yeah. Edwin, Sarita, Carlitos, Gaby, Jenny, Saulito, and Jose. Are you guys ready? Yes. Ready. Okay, cool. Okay, so you think you're ready? Okay, cool. All right, let me check right now. You know what's the the page, right? No? Okay, I'm going to give it to you, the so, page. Wait a minute. Usually I can, I can uh, play it in the games because I have problems with my Your phone. internet, oh. Yeah, yeah, and my cell phone, uh, I have the problem with the microphone and the video. Oh, I, I got need it. to send to repair the mic, the <laughs> cell phone. <laughs> Maybe in the next stage. Yeah, Sorry. that's okay. No problem. That's okay. But you can still watch it. Don't worry. Well, and it's still you're okay. going to learn. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. So don't worry okay. about that. Solito. But thank you so much for letting us know. Okay, so I'm going to okay. do it right now. Kahoot.it. That's the page. Are you there, guys? Yes. All right. Everybody's there, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now let me search which one we're going to work with. Ah, yes, that's the one that we're going to do. <laughs> I'm going to, you're going to love this one. Okay, let me play it, but I'm going to wait, guys. But until in my give cell phone, not in my the computer and my uh, cell phone. Actually, both, uh, Roxy, because on your computer, you're going to see me, my, my computer. I'm going to share with everybody. And in your cell phone, you have to answer the questions. So I need you to have both devices ready. Okay. I will give it to you the ping number. And you have to remember, guys, that I'm not going to send it to the ping number. I'm just going to say the number. So you need to catch it, okay? All right. So the ping number, guys, is 197 -8956. I'm trying to be as slowly as possible. I have Jenny here. Good. Jose is here. I only have two guys here. May I repeat the pin number? Would you like me to repeat the pin number, guys? Yes. All right. Yes, please. Okay, it's 197-8956. Oh, we have Roxy here. Good. One nine seven eight nine six eight nine five six. Ah, uh, five six. Okay. Yes, Alanita. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Seven. You're welcome. Elenita is here. And you need to put your name. Yes, you can put your name or you can put a nickname like Butterfly, Hello Kitty, Tiger, oh. Winnie Pooh. I don't know which one you prefer. Oh. My little my my little girl say is when play it between the uh -huh. are Thank you the, the little one is Hello Kitty. Oh you see? Yeah, yeah. Every, everybody has their nickname. Apollo and, nickname. And the, and the older one is uh Carmen Fox. Oh, okay. That's an interesting one. <laughs> All right. That's an interesting nickname. Okay, yeah. guys. I have Elenita, Roxy, Jose, and Jenny. I'm missing the people here. 197-8956. I know that uh, Saulito is not going to be here. I know that. Mm -hmm. Who's missing? Who's missing? Elwin. And Sarita. Oh, no. I never played. You have never played? I only watched. Ah, do you you don't have another device, Elwin? No. 
No, I don't. Ah, I'm okay, okay, okay. Oh. That's what I was waiting for you. Okay. What about Sarita and Gabby? Sarita, are you here or no? Yes, teacher. No, you're not here. I have Jose, Jenny, and Lenita. You're not in the Kahoot. In Kahoot. the Kahoot. In the Kahoot, Jenny. <laughs> eh, Sarita, sorry. The number. The number. You want the number Four. one more time? Please, Paul. Okay, yeah. One, nine, seven. Eight, nine, five, six. Hey. Nine. Hey. Six. No, I will, I will give it to you once again. One. one nine. Nine. Seven. seven mm -hmm, and then eight. Eight, nine, nine, five, six. Five. Ah. There you go. Seven numbers. Seven numbers. Yes, ma'am. Ah. So you just put your name or you can put any anybody name like princess. I don't know. Use your imagination. So we're waiting for you, Sarita. And Gabby. I don't know if Gabby is going to participate or not. Oh. Uh-huh. Could you could you get in or no? Yes. But you're not here, Sarita. Uh Imjek. Angel. Oh Angel. yes. Angel. Ah, excuse me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we're missing Gabby, but I don't know. I don't think Gabby's gonna participate. So let's let's do it right now. Okay, can everybody see my screen? Yes, right? Yes. All right, yes. so let's yes. start, guys. Pre advanced level. <coughs> this is just seven. Relative pronouns as subject of a clause. Choose a correct sentence. This is a little bit hard. Yes. Oh my God, who said, I like guys that is too serious. No. Remember, guys, am I talking singular or plural? Plural. plural. So am I using plural. is or are? Are. are exactly. Are. So the right guy, the right one is this one. It's not, it's not the, the green one, guys, because we don't have a period at the end of the sentence. And it's not a red one either because it's singular and we are talking about plural. So that means I like guys that aren't too serious. Okay, zero points. Oh. Nobody, okay, continue. <laughs> True or false? In a relative pronoun as a subject, who that are optionals? This is true or this is false? What do you think guys? In a relative pronoun as a subject. That is the clue. That's false. Mm. It's false. Yes. That's why I, I emphasize as a subject, not as an object. Yes. All right. Very good. So Jen is at the top. Jose, woohoo. Way to go, Roxy. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Guys, please beat Jenny. Okay. <laughs> True or false? <laughs> In a relative pronoun, as a subject, who and that are not optionals. Now it's pronoun, guys. Take a look. In a relative pronoun. That is true or that is false? That is true are not optional. You must have them. Jose, thank you, Jose. You beat Jenny. Bye, Jenny. Oh. Yeah, no, but Roxy is still rocks. Hey, that's nice. Roxy is still rocks. I like that sentence. Yay. Quiz. In a relative pronoun as a subject, which verb 
I must use if I describing someone using adjectives. Which verb I must use? Yeah, ah. verb to be, yes. yes. Because you are using adjectives. Guys, if you're using adjectives, you cannot use any other verb. It has to be verb to be. All right, very good. <laughs> Jenny, you were the first one to answer and you still on the top. Yeah, you you back on row, Jenny. Yeah, bye, Jose. <laughs> bye bye. Number five. Which of the following are positive adjectives that describe people's personality? Adjective describes people's personality. Yeah. Oh, come on. Personality. Modest, sociable. Yes, but it's stingy. The stingy is not personality. Okay. All right. Zero. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Jenny, you're still on the top, girl. Number six, quiz. Which of the following is the best description of a stingy person? Stingy person. Uh-huh. Exactly. The green one. Oh my God, I'm willing to spend money, not generous. You know what? It, why everybody put that? Yes, it, it is It is right, guys. But you know what happened? That I forgot the period at the end of the sentence. And that's why it's wrong. So the right one is the green one because it includes the period at the end. Do you remember that I'm tricky with plantation? Mm -hmm. So, Jose. You kick out Miss yeah. Jenny. Yay! <laughs> All right. And the last one. Oh, unreliable person is. Unreliable person is. Come on. Time pass really fast. Oh my God, someone not able to be trusted or believed. Exactly, yeah, very good. Uh-huh. Why is not the yellow one? Because of course, I made a, I made a, a, a purpose mistake on writing. And it's not red because of course, there's no period at the end of the sentence. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, so basically guys, is the green one, yay. Pre advanced oh. level patio. The third person yeah. goes to Roxy. Yeah, very good, Roxy. Number two, Jenny. Sorry, Jenny. Come on, Jenny. And the first one goes to Jose. And to go, Jose. Yeah, yeah, that was really cool. <clears throat> Sorry, Dr. Guevara. <laughs> yeah, but you learned a lot, even though you were not here. It also Elwin, right? Yeah. yeah, so you when, see, yes, when I play this kind of game, uh, game I feel like uh, when I uh, when I uh, uh, when I uh, how to say, I say do the, uh -huh. my exam in uh, the university and, and I feel nervous. <laughs> really? <laughs> I know. Oh, yeah. yes, me too. And my brain and my brain doesn't work when I am nervous. <laughs> And I and I read, but I confused all all the 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 answer is the same for me. I confused in my mind. I don't know why. I, I know you can ask Dr. Guevara what was the situation about that talking about uh, like physically and mentally problems right now that we have, right? You know yes. what? But you know what happened? And I don't like it to to play this kind of game because I feel. And you know why, why, why I show this kind of game? Not only because it's review about topics that we already have seen, right? And it also evaluates punctuation and all those stuff and your knowledge about the topic. It is because that kind of games is help us like a, to develop one 
a skill of reading as well. And Which you need to practice. You need to practice, more. exactly. It's about the practice, not it's about the, the It's about knowledge. the knowledge. It is about it's a combination about the everything. knowledge, but, but you need to practice. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes- to be more confident when you play this And be time. like this, okay. speedness. Yeah. Because sometimes you will not have time to uh, to like take your own time, right? For reading and everything, no way. You need to think fast and to give the solution immediately. Yeah, it doesn't matter what kind of job you're working on, but that's why it's really, really important. And also, you know what, in, in university matters, sometimes when you do like exams, it depends on what career you're, you're um, course into, but sometimes you don't have like the whole time to like read the article and then answer the, the questions below the article, right? So there is some kind of skills, technique, reading techniques, skills that you need to develop, which one of them are the scheming and the scanning. In this case, you, you practice both. And I know that it's hard. Sometimes it's hard, but as long as you practice more, you will develop the other skills and that will be easily for you because it will be like <laughs> your eyes will move like this way and your brain will move that other way and they will come back together. <laughs> and I will like, woof. Yeah, we'll move on. Yeah, that's why I made those kind of exercises. You know what? I, they used to do, do me th those like that way when I was like um, in another training and I was like, no way. But the teacher said, yeah, you got to do it. And they were like really harder parts. When, the toy, when you do the toik and the TOEFL, those skills will help you a lot that you cannot imagine because you have time. The TOEFL, you have four hours to do the TOEFL. Oh, yes, wow. four hours. So you start at 7 a.m. in the morning and you end it up at one. So can you imagine how mentally tired you are after that? <laughs> yeah, and the, and the TOEFL evaluates the four skills, the speaking, the listening, the writing, and the reading. But the level of knowledge, especially the reading part, are like more like college articles. So in the toy one, evaluates only two things. Evaluates the reading and the listening. And the articles are more like human beings articles, like regular ones, right? Like Sue going to the museum, something like that. So it's really, really important, but they have a lot. For example, I think that the toy has like 200 questions between the two. And it only takes an hour, an hour and a half. It's only an hour and a half. But the other one takes four hours. And it's long mm -hmm. and you have time whether you finish or not that's why guys when i give you the the numbers right now the pink number like one nine seven like that i give it to you because i want you to like try to catch numbers but at the same time be fast in writing and that is part of dictation right now maybe it's, sometimes it's hard for you you ask me teacher give me the number once again and i'm very nice teacher right but sometimes i'm not a nice teacher <laughs> Yes, because you need to continue practicing. So I'm going to send it to you things that you will help that it will help you a lot. I'm going to send you a link that it will that you will be able to listen somebody talking live, but at the same time you will be able to read everything that the person is saying. So you will you will love that. I promise and that will help you a lot. And also Dr. Guevara in that link that I'm going to send, you can find a lot of information for any type of topic, language, communication, psychology, medicine, science, woof, et cetera. So you will love that page. I promise that. And of course, it will help you a lot increase your vocabulary and your pronunciation. Because you, um, no. uh, I remember mm -hmm. that you sent us, sent us a, uh, a, uh, audio about the the practice about the the email mm -hmm. and i listen and i try to answer when when he uh, uh said said the the, the, the email, information uh -huh. the, the information and i try to write but the first one i didn't understand anything and the second one i understand much better much better one or two and but it's, it's, I think it's, a, it's, it's important to practice. 
a lot. Practice more. Why That's not? why I'm gonna send you some some pages that you will be able to practice at your house. Okay. It will be like, what can I say? It will be like, uh, how you say that? Oh, do you remember that there's a lot of academies for our schools that there's like a place where all the monitors and all the computers are for you to go ah, to a computer, like a computer lab, like a computer lab that yeah. when they have like exercises to practice. So that is what I'm going to send it to you. I'm going to send it to you two pages that you will be able to practice at home. Okay. okay thanks. Any type of topics. Okay, guys. I'm so happy. Sorry, but it's time to say goodbye. We passed 12 minutes. May I apologize for that? But I was so happy with you. And well, it's time to say goodbye. There was a last class, you know. And the last class for the semester. Yeah. For the semester. <laughs> for yes, the for the semester. Yes, for the model. <laughs> well, yes, that's what I think. That's what I think. If not, you're going to see me tomorrow, and I will let you know. But I know that the, the Tuesday was the last class, if I remember. It, so. it was a uh, a pleasure to study with you, and I I practice my speaking skill um, a lot with you, and I like it. And I make many mistakes. We and fight, I, and I fight with you, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and it's it's not. Uh, uh, I feel not uh, good because I made many mis mistake when Don't I worry. speak. But but I need more practice. I think, and yeah. I and thank you for for all. Yeah, it was my pleasure. Thank you as well, guys, because I learned a lot of Spanish words with you. Sure. <laughs> yes, Jose. Chunya is one of my favorite ones. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Yes, Jose. Yes, Me? Mr. Manage, Jose. Be, be sure that I never forget about the presentation. Really? You will never forget about plantation? Yeah. Okay. I hopefully you do not forget that. Yeah. Very good. And I will never forget about you, my man. <laughs> <laughs> and and also, Mr. Elwin Chaganda, he loves to go to the beach, right? <laughs> and his favorite yeah. uh, beverage is, guys? El Tunco Beach. No, that's the place, <laughs> but what about the beverage, Mr. Jose? Ah. Elwin's beverage. Beach. <laughs> no, that was Oli. You remember that was Oli's one. Yeah. What happened with Oli? I think she had problems with the internet. And do you um, remember that she already started training? So I think her schedule was not good these days. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. That could be the reason why. Yeah. But um, I miss her. Yeah. yeah. And also her mojitos one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and as well dr Guevara, it was a pleasure to to meet you sir i really do appreciate that thank you for transmitting your knowledge yeah and also that he loves to be barefoot also at home yes. Yay. that's nice <laughs> well i wish you the best guys please continue learning i don't know if i'm gonna be with you the next model maybe yes maybe not um but any any teacher who you will be with who you will enjoy it maybe they're not as crazy as i am because i'm i'm a crazy teacher i'm a unique teacher <laughs> but um yeah really i'm sure <laughs> yeah but uh well you will learn a lot with them i promise that so guys i wish you a great vacation in the meantime right but i'm not gonna leave you i'm going to continue sending information so you can continue improve your skills okay so hugs and kisses. Have a lovely night and amazing week, okay? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.